Hi everyone, Vince with Barco here. Today we are going to do a really quick video on the setup of device control and then discuss a few tips to help you become more successful at sending commands. In this example, we're going to set up device control on one E2 to recall a preset into preview of an Event Master product on the same network. So first we're going to click Add External Device. Then we'll select the device, go to the Contextual Adjust tab, enter the name, the IP address, the port, 9878 because we're connecting to a second E2, ensure the TCP radio button is selected, then we'll select Add New Command to Device. We'll highlight the command, and in the command field we'll type preset space dash r space one backslash r backslash n. Then we'll click Test Selected Command. You can see the Test Selected Command button has two functions. The first is to verify communication between the sending and receiving device, and secondly, if the command is properly formatted, it will execute on the receiving device. After verifying the successful result, we'll click Store to store the command. Then we'll repeat the process for the next two presets. Additionally, here are a few tips. Format the IP address without any leading zeros. Here's an example. Make sure you format the command as specified in the device user guide. Do not add extra characters. Remember, Event Master processors and some other devices require a carriage return at the end of the command. To end the command string with a carriage return, append backslash r backslash n immediately following the last character of the command. The full list of available commands can be found in the user guide. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to the folks on the Barco Folsom Switchers Facebook group or email us at e2 at barco.com. Until next time, I'm Vince with Barco.